Rightio, we're back here again, ready to, to put another load of canola on. I've just rolled that tarp back over. Couldn't really do that while holding the camera, so... Yeah, so anyway, we managed to tip that first one off all right. So, yeah, we'll, um, we'll empty, empty this bin, and then hopefully we'll get the, the last of it in there. Um, this is GM canola that we're carting, so you're not, not really supposed to mix the two. Um, we're pretty basic on the John Deere's now. So the shaft's already hooked up there, ready to go. PDO in gear. Speed's already set. I'll just give her a few, a few revs. Yeah, just always take her up to about 11 or 1200. Good spot to sit in here in a, on a hot sunny day. When the truck aircon's not really doing it for you. Speaking of which. Yeah, so we'll have a bit of a look at this tipper and so you've got your side glasses on your field bin there uh, which is pretty handy so that's probably that segment there but because the because when it's put into it it's, it's obviously peaked up with the header or the or the chaser bin so the first, well, what it'll do is just um, drop it down until the peak becomes a cone and um, yeah, then it runs out not too bad after that, sort of goes fairly quickly. So hopefully we'll fit all of, all of this and all of that, it may not even quite be a full load but anyway, that'll clean up the GM canola. Normally we just cart the canola pretty short distance but the, GM stuff isn't accepted everywhere. So this is the bird's eye view up here, where all the action happens. See some nice new aerials and roof lights and air horns on there, you beauty. Good to finally give the old girl a bit of loving. As you can see, the tipper's had, it's had more hits than the beetles by the look of it, but um, yeah, anyway, it still does the job, still holds canola. Canola's pretty fine, it'll usually run where water doesn't, so um, if there's a crack or a gap, it'll fit through it. Um, yeah, so as rough and as ugly as the old tipper is, it still does the job. Um, yeah, just one of those things, you just got to keep doing a little bit to it all the time. But, um, yeah, you can see in that bin over there, they've already started already started putting normal canola in there. So I'll get this load out of the way and then we'll cart some normal stuff um, to the local storage. It'll be a bit easier running the truck. Probably an hour turnaround or less, probably less actually. Rather than sort of three hours or three and a half. Yeah, so this is the, this will be the, um, the scene for a little while. Um, problem we're going to have this year, it's just wet ground, spongy ground everywhere. Got to be pretty careful where we drive the truck this year. Fortunately here, there's a gravel track with a loop up in front of the house. Um, yeah, it will probably sneak over this empty all right, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to um, go over it full. Cab over's got a bit of weight in the front of it, especially with the V8 in there. Um, 
and yeah, you're not really looking to um, not really looking to make the make yourself unpopular by getting bogged. It just stuffs everyone around. So um, anyway, yeah. So that's what we're up to at the moment. So we've got the other truck, which will probably come home next week sometime, and uh, once the wheat starts, we'll have them both going. It's a little CHR Mac. Uh, but yeah, for the for the time being, the big cab over will do the job. Um, yeah, it's always always good to do a, a couple of longer runs in it. You find out a few things wrong with them. You find out the things that you forgot to fix before harvest. And um, yeah, but anyway, no, it's all good. All it's got to do is just tick along. Doesn't have to set too many records. Um, I found it in a paddock. Oh, about an hour and a half away from here, actually not far from where I'm carting at the moment. Um, and I'd just been sitting derelict in there for 10 years and the rats had been into it and chewed the shit out of all the sleeper and made a hell of a mess with all the foam and... Um, yeah, and anyway, it, just, it had just been abandoned pretty well. The, the bloke had just had enough of it and had a few problems with it, so... Yeah, it just been slowly tidying it up for a little while and... And, um, yeah, like I say, there's, there's still a fair bit more to do, but... Yeah, it's certainly becoming more and more reliable, that's the main thing. You just want to be able to get into it and hit the key and and um, get the job done. Um, yeah, so, no, I've done probably 40,000 in it or 50,000 maybe. Probably 40, I suppose, since I've had it. And, um, and yeah, you know, like it'll, it'll do, you know, it'll probably get its 10,000 or so for harvest this year or... Fi- 10 to 15,000 you normally do want a big harvest um, and this normally does the longer running and the CH will stay local so um, yeah you know it might um, it might do a little bit this year so uh, that's the main thing keeping it nice and clean and tidy and roadworthy and, and reliable is the main thing so um, the authorities seem to like old trucks so if you can keep them reasonably well presented they leave you alone or they're, they're happy enough to see you so I think that's the battle. Yeah, but anyway, that video I'll just about do. Um, sort of seen enough of this already, so um, yeah, we're just about just get, just about going to empty this bin actually. So see the side glass is empty there. A little bit left in it yet. See she's shaking off the top there, so that means it's bloody rattling around a bit. She's nearly empty. She's up a bit there, but that'll be right. We should get that, we should get all of it in that um, without moving the truck. You see that auger up there, she's rattling around a bit and starting to jump up and down a bit, so it'll start rattling and banging here in a minute and that'll be empty. pretty well up there now so reckon that'll just about do it leave them going because we'll have to swap the bins here in a minute. So just move this thing around.
Yeah, tractors have changed a little bit from the old rockets I've got at home. They're, um, the splash is a car inside. Bloody air conditioner works better than most cars. So just get it somewhere near the centre of this bin and and um, yeah, hook that shaft up. Might have to turn the tractor off to do it. Sometimes they're um, sometimes when you've got to turn the spline just a little bit, it's easier if you've got the engine off. But anyway, we'll see see what it wants to do. She's a bit jumpy on that throttle, but anyway, I reckon the bloke would have learned to back by now, wouldn't you? in the park, see if we can get this, oh, we'll turn it off now. Sometimes it's just a bit easier to, if you've got to turn that spline just to, um, I'll just put it in there for a sec. Oh jeez, what a bastard. On there. That should just about do him, I think. We'll move this truck forward. Up the big step ladder. Fire up the old Ingersoll Rand. Start him about there, leave the truck running because we'll have to move it shortly. She's up to up here and probably have to move it forward, I'd say. Yeah, just come up a bit more there. So yeah, but just been averaging averaging around that. 26 and a bit each time, it's a good legal load and we do have a little bit of an allowance we can go a bit further but um, 
You don't want to stretch the friendship too much. Um, yeah, like it's sometimes, particularly in wheat, <coughs> where you can get a lot of variation between test weights of the of the grain sample. Um, yeah, sometimes you can you can run into trouble there, um, and that's where your allowance comes in very handy, or your tolerance, I should say, comes in very handy, um, just to sort of get you out of a out of a tight patch there. But I mean, that that's where airbags are so good now. Most most setups now have got airbags all around, and you've got weight gauges, and you can you can normally get them to within two or three hundred kilos pretty well if you're on flat ground, and um, that's the way of the future. Well, it's well that's the way it is now. I'm just living in the past, I think, but anyway, st still enjoying it. So uh, all I do with this with these loads, you know, just sort of judge it. You know, you sort of work out work out roughly where you want your piles, and just just load it accordingly and after a while you get pretty pretty close um, sometimes it's still you surprise yourself sometimes you put a bit much on sometimes you you make it a bit light but anyway um, it's all part of the fun all part of the guesswork yeah, cer certainly if you're looking to employ someone full-time or if you wanted to do it full-time you'd have to go airbag and you know get some um, get your axle, axle weights perfectly right all the time and sort of just wasting your time otherwise. Anyway, we'll move this truck forward. Oh yeah, I reckon that might do this video for a bit. Um, yeah, I said that about five minutes ago, but we managed to strap a little bit more out, so I hope it's been somewhat informative and um, not too boring. So anyway, um, I'll hopefully get a few more videos. The mechanical stuff will be a little bit thin on the ground for the next little while, just because of what we're doing. But um, anyway, um, thanks for your patience and um, thanks for the people that have like the videos and subscribe to the page um, yeah it's much appreciated and and um, yeah it sort of it just it'll help me going forward um, to make more videos and better videos so that's what we're working towards so um, alrighty until then I'll I'll catch you next time around I'll keep on carting here and um, hope you all have a good day